Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a very exciting Cartier unboxing. You guys, if you have seen my wish list, I'll link it right up here just in case you missed it. But if you've seen it, you know exactly what this is because I did mention this in my wish list. I'm so excited to open this damn box. It's been sitting in a corner of my room for days and I've just, every time I walk past it, I'm just like, I see you, I see you. I'm unboxing you soon. I'm almost, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and blame this entire purchase on Classics with a Quirk. I will link the video that she recently made about the Cartier price increase that is incoming in, I think she said in April, early April, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm gonna link it right up here so you guys can go watch her video. She definitely goes into better detail than whatever I just said. I just, you know, I got nervous and so I pulled the trigger. It's okay, because honestly, this is something that I knew that I wanted to get. Like, there was no question in my mind that eventually I was gonna get this. So, I just got a little earlier than I was expecting. It's fine, it's fine. So if you guys want to unbox my newest Cartier piece with me, then please just keep on watching. But wait, you already know what I'm gonna say. If you're not already subscribed, explain yourself. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I feel like you're gonna wanna be here when I do. If you like luxury, you like handbags, you like fashion, you like Cartier and you like unboxings. I think this is definitely where you're gonna wanna be, so you should subscribe if you're not already. And you should follow me on Instagram if you're not already. It's just the K Danger. I post every single day over there. Every day we got a reel, we got an outfit of the day, we got something on stories. We just got just a whole bunch of crap over there. If you like any of that stuff, you should follow me over there if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into the unboxing. Today we are working with the little baby scissors, no big daddy scissors today, because I have no idea where they are. As usual, this is honestly, it's like a cycle. I lose them, find them for like two days and lose them again, it's, it's a whole thing. So, a lot of scissors it is. Let's jump into this. Look at how big this box is. What from Cartier warrants such a big box? You guys know, this also is the case with Van Cleef. Every time I order a Van Cleef piece, I'll link some unboxings up here. They give a gigantic box for no reason. And I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. <gasps> you guys this is gonna be my freaking <laughs> let's stop posing for thumbnails and actually get into this so we're just gonna i got a little baggie you guys a baggie oh certificate i guess this is like an authenticity type situation the item is right in here i do have obviously cartier pieces i'm wearing all of my Cartier pieces now is just include ring and two love rings. I'll link a comparison right up here in case you're curious. But I've never gotten this box like this. Like it usually just comes in a little red box and that's it. I've never gotten this like white heat stamp situation. So this is like extra exciting for me. People put a lot of work into this and I'm just gonna rip it. Of course I'm just gonna rip it. <laughs> This is like, this is bad. I know like a lot of people do not like to rip this white paper like this. Listen, I was never gonna save this white paper. I promise you, I was never gonna save this. So it's fine. The freaking bonus. Okay, so we're gonna open it. The other box is gonna be inside. I've never received a box this big. Introducing my new Cartier Justin Clue bracelets. This is the first time I am ever seeing a Justin Clue bracelet in person. Like in my hand. I did not end up getting the diamonds. Let me see if it focuses. The reason I didn't go for the diamonds, I did explain it in my wishlist video, but my dream stack has four bracelets in it. Possibly a fifth one is kind of creeping its way onto the wishlist, but we're just not, we're gonna say four. It's definitely at least four. And I feel like that's kind of a lot. And then to add diamonds, that's just gonna make it even more like going on on my wrist and I didn't really feel like I wanted all that going on, on my wrist plus I plan on wearing this every single day just like I wear my Van Cleef Sweet Alhambra bracelet so this bracelet I do not take off at all ever so I plan on wearing this along with this every single day and that's why I went with the rose gold also because the Sweet Alhambra bracelet is in rose gold and so I thought they would look good together, you know what I'm saying? I ended up going with the size 15 because I know that I have a pretty small wrist, but I have absolutely no idea if this is gonna fit me because I've never tried this on. And I did tell you guys that I wanted to do this in store and like try on different sizes, try on the one with diamonds, try on like different bracelets to see which one I would like better. But I got nervous and I just pulled the trigger before I was able to do that, guys. I'm gonna attempt to put this on. I've never, I've never done this before. I've seen people do it and it looks easy enough, but I know that I am gonna fail probably so hard. So let's do it together, shall we? So it's like this, right? Oh my God, this is freaking me out. This is freaking me out. I'm gonna break it. It's gonna break. I'm gonna break it. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
How is it not broken right now? Oh my God, I don't think this is the right size. Oh no, it is. It is. So this is my current stack situation. Oh my God. By the way, I've definitely gotten some questions on why I choose to wear all my bracelets on this side since they're not really visible because of my tattoos. And that's just because my watch goes on this side. Like I don't, <laughs> your watch is always supposed to go on your non-dominant hand. I'm right-handed. And so therefore my watch would go on my left hand. And that's just, that's just what it is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this was like sitting at the bottom of my box. So I guess it's just a care booklet. I was showing you how to put it on. Obviously I've seen a thousand YouTube videos of people doing it, so I already knew what to do. Let me come closer so you guys can actually see what's going on. You guys can see the size 15 is really good. I know I have small wrists. I definitely do have small wrists and I freaking knew that the 15 would be the perfect size for me. I didn't even do like, they have like a sizing chart or something on Cartier. Did I? Did I even measure my wrist? No, that one time. Not one time. I just kind of wung it. It was like, uh, I know I have small wrists, so, and I know you're supposed to size down with the Just and Clue compared to like the love bracelets. Let me just get 15. I know a lot of people like to go for the bigger sized Just and Clue. I have never been interested in that bracelet. I feel like the Just and Clue in the regular size is huge. It's like massive. To me, it like takes over your whole arm. Plus the fact that I just told you guys I have really small wrists. So I don't think that would have looked good on me at all anyway. It's definitely not the next piece that I thought I wanted to add. I thought that I was going to add another VCA bracelet first before adding this, but am I mad? I'm not, I am not, okay? I'm still gonna get the other VCA bracelet, just, you know, not today. Today is not the day. So that is my newest Cartier piece. Definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your preferences. Do you like this bracelet? Do you not like this bracelet? Do you like the bigger size? Do you like the one with diamonds? Definitely let me know in the comments. What is your dream stack? I am very curious to know this. But yeah, that's all I have to say for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there. And that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, dear. God knew better than to give me a good voice. Let me tell you. He really did. He was like, nah. This bitch already doesn't know how to act. Can you imagine? You know?